Cinema 4D has recently added the trim modifier, which works just like the trim command in After Effects. First, let's create a spline. Let's create a cogwheel. Let's make the center of the cogwheel bigger so it's more pronounced. Let's go to the uh, asset browser, search for trim. This is the trim modifier. Make it a child of the cogwheel. Close the uh, asset browser. You can trim from the start from the end and this happens on both segments of the spline because per segment is selected if it's unselected it will start with the first spline and then continue to the next spline like this like so let's keep it checked you can also invert the trimming we can offset the trimming so along the spline you can animate it once it it's past 100 it will make a loop so let's put back put that back to being zero you can also increase the rate which uh, make makes it animate without any keyframe so if you play the animation it's animating and you'll notice that the animation if we give ourselves more frames like 300 you'll notice that the animation is looping that's because the limit is on loop now if the limit is on custom that means uh, clamp anything that's lower than zero percent and clamp anything that's higher than 100 percent so it will make just one uh, offset and then it will cut off the spline